Max, some cities call it a rain tax. Others say it's a middle class killer. Either way, Hawaii could be getting it. Governor David Ige signed a law giving the counties power to impose a new fee. KITV Force Catherine Cruz explains. Jean Ho was wary after learning the city can now impose a new stormwater tax. She's all for protecting the marine environment, but wonders if paying a fee tax to your real property tax or water bill will do anything to stop polluters. They, they would probably still yeah, do whatever their lifestyle is. Uh, you need to change a habit. Ho was raised in Singapore, a city that prides itself on cleanliness and where polluters pay steep fines. Of course, the, the richer person you know, can uh, probably maintain their yard better or maintain their, their property better. Uh, but doesn't mean that if you're of lower income, you cannot do that too. You can just imagine all the chemicals and fertilizer that run into the Alawai and out to the sea. Honolulu's mayor calls the taxing option a tool. He says federal regulators are well aware that runoff is polluting our streams and the ocean too. So if there's things we can do to show the EPA that we're treating, dealing with our water runoff from heavy rains in a better way, we're going to do that. Right now we don't see that pressure to do it, but the legislature has given us a tool to respond should it become necessary. But how do you do that fairly? In recent years, the EPA fined the state millions of dollars for failing to manage runoff from airports and highways and from discharges into harbors. Other mainland cities are struggling with equity between commercial and residential properties. One Honolulu lawmaker questions how a rain tax can apply to someone in EVA, where it's dry, to someone living in a rainforest. Are you going to pay equal to what it is up in Waiwa or in Manoa, where it rains every day or every evening? Uh, how are you going to do this? Ward called the measure a middle class killer, wondering how the counties can be fair to both apartment high rises and single family homes. It has either cement driveways or sidewalks or other things that are covered, uh, roofs, it's going to create runoff. And the real problem is, Catherine, I don't see how they're actually going to implement it. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News. In some states, the rain tax was repealed after pushback from residents and businesses. The monthly fees imposed in some mainland cities ranged from $5 to $10 a month for homes to hundreds or thousands of dollars for shopping centers, schools and airports.